Man, did you hear that one? Two days in a row. You don't even care. So disappointed. Well, he's choking on himself. <laughs> that little gargle. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep this train rolling, man. It's deja vu here. We got a Spartan down this ridge. And, and today, while we were at the house editing videos and stuff, uh, like 12.30, had a long beard on there. If this is him, he's, he's been off this ridge yeah. here, so maybe he'll work back this way. I think we're in him, boys. He's either there or got to be over here. Either way, Truvy, you're not here yet, buddy, but you better get ready because we got one in the tree for you. This is awesome in here. Why you gotta stay after it. Why well, everybody calm down? Got that left. I'm gonna kill a turkey, no matter what it takes. Hey, baby, I gotta run by what Walmart. Good. That federal TSA paid them up pretty good. This is awesome in here. We're done. We're tagged out. Well, that is a mangled, beat up head right there now. Like a whole different place here this morning. Cooling off. I'm telling you what, it's a little chilly. Look, you got your fleece. I mean, yeah, I'm fleeced up, man. <laughs> We're going all out this morning. Yes, yes, baby. We'll save that, cut it on later. This turkey could be a perfect recipe for disaster for him. We got a little bit of wind. Still early, I think we can get right underneath of it. Real tree timber is ready. He's got the NASCAR gun of shotgun. Just carry him and get trained still. We take our time, I think we can get down to this dark tree. It's gonna be right across. We just can't we can't be stepping on sticks. We get right down there, all we gotta do is fly down and we'll kill him. This wind's gonna help us. I can hear him spitting and drumming though. When I got underneath this turkey, he kind of shut up once this wind picked up. He ain't got one, but I'm just barely, barely tree helping. I can hear him spitting and drumming back at it. This canopy's so thick. This could happen quick. He could fly, I think he may fly down right here where we can see him. He kind of went silent on us, but he's still there. Kill him. Kill him. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh, oh, boom. Baby. Man, that's what you call dealing with the circumstances. That is dealing with the circumstances of the old loop-de-loop -loop guy. Loop -loop. <laughs> Brother. 
Waving the white flag on him now. Nasty. Well, he's coming to us still. Yeah, I'm gonna go get him. I feel like he's gonna roll right down the hill and he could be old hook daddy. Bubba, give me a little bit of that while we freak it off. Yes, man. Son ain't got a rope on him, I can tell you that. Hey, I ain't big on beard and spurs, but he's got a beard on him. <laughs> look at this beard on that joker. I ain't looked this bird yet, but oh yeah. He may be three year old. Good job, dude. I knew when you seen him, son. I seen the you old white that? flag. Oh, <laughs> I, I get nervous because you said, "Don't shoot him, Trophy." And, no, I and, said, "I said shoot him." Oh, <laughs> well, I, when said, he, I thought I misunderstood you because oh, no, I thought yeah. you said, "Don't shoot him." Trophy. Yeah. I was like, "Trophy, <laughs> so I thought you said, don't shoot him." Boom! <laughs> <laughs> he made a huge wind from rope all on. the way down, and he was a, probably the loudest spitting and drumming turkey in the state of Mississippi. Had to make a little bit of a running change. But well, he's always wanted to see my, uh, my skinny shed, the inside of it. There so. you go. Yeah, so he said that. Yeah. The first thing okay. There we go. I mean, he looped and then he stopped drumming, and then we're like, oh, are we going to move? Yeah, we were about to get like, up, and then Drake heard him. Well, Man, look at the beard on that sucker. That's probably when we had on that Spartan camera, because he had a rope on him. Paintbrush. Okay. Well. We that, rolling. It's the rock and roll in Mississippi. Uh, Thank you, man. We're knocking Lord. them out. Knock them out, John. Yes, sir. Got somebody got to have some relief up in here. <laughs> here we are, another early, early edition of why he did what he did. And you can see we're down here celebrating the kill. We got down in here where we thought he'd feel comfortable. And actually the wind was blowing, so so maybe gonna get out of this wind and gonna maybe come down this bottom to us. But he flew down up top and never once got to a call on the limb. Well, he gobbled one time on the limb. He never once gobbled on the ground, period. One of the things when, when turkeys don't gobble, it makes it tough. Everybody knows that. But this turkey was spitting and drumming so loud. And, and that's how he was answering the call. He, he was spitting and drumming from the time he hit the ground, we could hear him spitting and drumming. And we're walking up on this hill right here where he came to. Look how flat and pretty it is up here where that turkey can get up here and see. That's why he came up here. But every time I yelp, you could hear him. And that's his way of saying, He's answering you. Sometimes it ain't the loudest way they're gonna answer the call, but you gotta pay attention to when they do answer the call, how they're gonna answer the call. And he did, and we're walking up on him right here. We headed to get some breakfast. Come on, everybody, let's get some knuckle. Dad, you wanna throw elbow in here? <laughs> get an elbow in here, Ross. <laughs> Put elbows and... Okay. Dog it, man. 